This is a rose. And this is a rose hip. Here we are toward the end of October in Missouri. The fall, the leaves are on the ground and the rose hips have emerged in the rose bushes. Now rose hips are a, an excellent source of vitamin C. As a matter of fact, they're one of the best sources for vitamin C. If you look in your vitamin C supplements, you'll often find, if you have natural supplements that come from natural sources, you'll often find uh, rose hips is listed as one of the ingredients. It's one of the sources of the vitamin C. Rose hips form at the base of the rose. If you look right here, you see this part of the rose right there, that little widened portion right there. After all the petals fall off, that is what will become the rose hip. Right here, this rose bud, notice this wide part right here. This part right here, you can see why it's called a hip. It's at the hip section of the flower, if a flower has such a thing as a hip. This part right here will become the rose hip after the flower falls off. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to cut off all of your roses because when you do, you will lose the rose hips. Um, they mature after the flower falls off and they remain on the rose bush through the winter months. So not only are rose hips a great source of vitamin C, uh, and a great source of vitamin C after the SHTF, after the crap hits the fan, when for those of us living in more northern latitudes, we might not have that many sources of vitamin C when once we run out of our supplements. Um, rose hips will serve as a great source of vitamin C, but they're also a survival food. You can often find them in the wintertime. So, and what you do is you just um, open these up and you'll find tiny little seeds in them and you can just eat them or use them in any uh, recipe that uh, calls for rose hips. Rose hips. A great survival food that all preppers should know about and grow for the vitamin C. Roses, of course, do have other benefits. One is keeping your women folk happy, but you have to make sure that your women folk don't cut off all the roses before the rose hips develop. Here's a uh, an old flower and underneath it you'll see under there right there our roses have a lot of therapeutic value essential oil of rose is very expensive because it takes a lot of rose petals to produce but essential oil of rose is very very therapeutic the scent um, is very very therapeutic. It is beyond the scope of this video to be able to discuss the essential oil rose. But you can get some of the same benefits of the essential oil from the there's a nice rose hip developing there. And you see once everything falls off the, the rose hip continues to grow and then it turns red. But you can get some of the benefits of the essential oil of rose from the petals and the scent of the petals. Another good reason to grow roses. This is Survival Doc reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.